Okay, let's go. Hello, welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to the fourth International Chase X Craft Conference hosted at the University of Bayreuth. Yes, it is the fourth conference. We started three years ago, and we had a lot of amazing projects uh, in the first three editions of the conference. And we and and we hope we can go on with uh, another uh, set of amazing projects and talks. Uh, first of all, I want to give uh, the hint. Andreas showed us, uh, us the link to the Moodle we installed for this conference. Uh, you all received an email from Alfred. And in this email, you will find a link uh, to our Moodle. And for every talk, we implemented a forum. So you have the possibility to ask questions, to get in contact with the authors. And you also have the possibility to give comments in this forum uh, of the talk. So please log in and uh, get in contact with each other. Uh, the conference uh, will uh, be on the next three days. We start at 15 uh, Central European summer time until uh, six o'clock in the evening, today on Wednesday and on Thursday. And uh, we hope you will enjoy the conference. And uh, this year we have talks about Chase XCraft projects. We have also talks from students at our university uh, who developed new features uh, for, uh, for Chase XCraft. And of course, uh, we have Alfred's workshop uh, where he will present new features and the future of Chase XCraft. Here you will find the program of today. Uh, after a short introduction, what's new in Chase XGraph from Alfred, we will begin with the first talk. And uh, uh, after the second talk, we will have a short break. And then we have two other talks. Uh, and the last is the workshop from Alfred, where you can post questions and uh, get in contact with new features of uh, JSX Graph. So today it's a sunny afternoon here in the capital city of JSX Graph world. And the boss of the JSX Graph world is Alfred. And now I will hand, I will hand over to Alfred, please. So welcome everybody. Also from my side, I'm happy that uh, that we have over 60 registered participants and I'm looking forward to to many to many interesting talks. So um, a few things, a few numbers about Chase X graph. I we saw the uh, this slide also already last year. So actually we don't know how many how many people are using Chase X graph, but uh, we have a few numbers. Uh, with just a few, very few numbers. So JS Deliver, the, the downloads increased from 550,000 to 1 million per month. On NPM JS, the downloads were more or less constant since last year. We had, uh, well, uh, many uh, interesting discussion threads at Google Groups, also on Stack Overflow, which is not mentioned here. And uh, you... <clears throat> Uh, you contributed more than 130 issues on, on GitHub, which is very, very helpful for us. Um, uh, Release-wise, we uh, moved since last conference, we moved from 1.46 to 1.60. And in a few days, uh, actually uh, maybe on Friday, we will go uh, up to 161. I will say a few things about it in, in, in the workshop. And again, thank you uh, thank you all for, for your pull requests, bug reports, suggestions, and, and any kind of help uh, you provided during the last year. Thank you. 
So, um, unfortunately, uh, in 2023, the Chase Xcraft community lost a, a great friend and partner, namely Bernard Martinez. Bernard was working in, uh, let me say a few words uh, about Bernard. Bernard was working in teacher education and he was the founder of the startup company Bon Nuedo in based in Villa Chiriosa, the Alicante region in Spain. Uh, he was a leading force in the development of e-assessment questions requiring graphical answers. So he was nearly pioneering this uh, type of questions where you drag, uh, as a solution, you drag some construction around. Through this, uh, he became, uh, he came into contact with the Chase XCraft team. Together with Bernard, we collaborated in several European projects. And I always admired his expertise and discipline in writing proposals and uh, final reports. He was uh, the reason that these projects were successful. So I learned so lot, uh, such a lot of, of him. Bernard, wherever you are now, we will miss you. So let's have a moment of silence for Bernard. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> yeah, so as I told you, Bernard was a pioneer in this, uh, uh, in in uh, graphical e-assessment. And I want to show you some of these uh, things, which uh, were um, uh, more or less inspired by his work. So in our database, in our database of questions, which uh, or, or of examples, which I, which we promised to fill up uh, in the last conference, uh, we have now a chapter on e-assessment, and uh, all over the place you see the the questions, uh, the, the the examples, uh, coming in uh, slowly, and uh, there's also a section about assessment, and here. These, uh, these uh, examples have been uh, provided by Carsten. And um, so these are ideas how to use uh, Chase XGraph in e-assessment. So um, here's an example. Change the position of the points A, B, and C. So the triangle B, A, B, C has an area of that many uh, square centimeters, note the specify uh, unit. So you can, uh, yeah. You can do it like this. And um, here is, uh, this is a, a, relative, a relatively general uh, type of questions, so it's not fixed to a certain system like like uh, stack or formulas. It's uh, it need, uh, so it uh, it shows you what you need as input and what you should supply as output to the to the hosting uh, learning management system system. So there are many uh, uh, quite a few questions already and. Um, yeah, you can explore it. So, uh, for example, mark uh, several regions uh, of a function graph uh, where some uh, some characteristics uh, with which have some characteristics. So this is new in this year. Um, and uh, we have set up a a new GitHub page for students projects. It's Chase Escraft, GitHub IO. And uh, so it's very down to earth uh, at the moment. It's very simple. 
So we just have uh, a little bit of a few links about JSX Graph and then uh, a few stu student projects. And I will uh, present them in detail tomorrow. For example, we will have uh, we will have uh, some uh, forays into graph theory and graph placement. Okay, this will be a topic of tomorrow. And uh, now a few words about uh, last year's releases. So uh, we had uh, in in January, shortly after the conference, we released uh, Chase XGraph vers version one point five, and um, yeah, this was internally this was a major change because uh, the the code base changed uh, in, on on. Uh, thousands of places, um, namely we moved from, from internally, the development, the source code was uh, uh, changed from, from AMD modules to uh, ES6 modules. Um, this was a, a necessary change to make uh, JSX a future proof, but um, it also has has some uh, advantages for certain use uh, scenario of of JSX graph. I will also go to into more details to uh, to to the today in the afternoon in the workshop. Yeah, uh, one um, one big uh, advantage of this new release is that you could now replace uh, the JSX graph version in, in stack um, with, the, uh, with the, the latest JSX graph version, uh, the generic JSX graph version. Um, but uh, there were also, there also, also some news about stack or JSX graph in stack. We will hear a talk on, on uh, Thursday about it. And I'm very happy that the main developer of the of the JSX graph plugin in uh, in Stack, Mati Harula, is is among the participants. So maybe he can clarify a few things if if, uh, if it's necessary. Then we added keyboard support as an uh, uh, accessibility measure, so you can control. If you want, uh, or you want it to allow, you can control uh, a construction uh, by uh, with keyboard strokes. Then uh, a nice little feature we have: um, we have uh, individual kinds of shadows, so you can uh, define your own shadows for your for your elements. And uh, the next thing is. We have board locking. Uh, and this, it's it's very it's in the beginning, so if we um, if you have this uh, this feature enabled, if you have this feature enabled and you drag uh, and then the user drags around or does something with the construction. Uh, there will be a user lock like this. Each event is a few events are locked. And uh, and uh, this can be then sent to the learning management system or, or into a database or whatever you want to do with it. Uh, and of course, you only allowed to do things which are allowed in your country. So uh, uh, we have to be very conservative with data. Then uh, a long awaited new feature in, in JSF graph 1.6, which was released in August, are vector fields and slope fields. I'm very happy that we have this now. So vector fields is exactly what you, so it's 2D, so it's exactly what you expect looks like this, or you can also make it dynamically. 
and uh, vegans talk on on Friday uh, on Thursday will uh, will probably show some examples, some useful examples. Then uh, Carsten contributed uh, a nice feature which we called which we call smart label. Um, well, a smart label is some kind of measurement with uh, a beautified uh, measurement. So, for example, you can uh, add the uh, uh, coordinates of a point to it, to, to the point. You can add uh, uh, the length or the slope uh, like this to a line. And uh, you can add uh, some uh, numbers for measurements for, for a circle to it, and also for a polygon. I would say they look quite convincing. And also for angles. And this is a long awaited feature to have the 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 value of the, the angle uh, uh, marked uh, easily in in the construction. Okay, this these were smart labels. Then uh, we have internationalization. I will talk about it. I will show you examples in the workshop. And uh, two other features are. HTML text can can now be rotated too. So uh, you can apply transformations or let's say affine tra transformations to HTML texts and uh, you can uh, do uh, give the attribute rotate to an HTML text. And uh, this was long overdue. Um, yeah, and it now works. And another user suggestion was uh, to introduce board set attribute so uh, like for elements uh, where we have this method since a uh, long time we can also um, we can also call board set attribute and set most uh, um, overwrite or update uh, most attributes um, some are immutable so for example you cannot change from svg renderer to uh, to canvas renderer, but you can uh, you can change the zoom level or the um, uh, the keyboard. Uh, you can en enable or disable keyboard zooming, panning, and so on. Yeah, and uh, in the next version, next major version in one point seven, I promise that uh, we will have implicit 2D curves. So um, I already have a quite convincing prototype and I'm 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 um, I'm quite sure that uh, it will be working okay in, in, in point uh, 1.7. Okay. So uh, what to expect from the conference? Uh, so I hope we all will see interesting applications and techniques. And I hope we can learn something about the interplay of JSX with Moodle, Elias, and Stack. I'm expecting and, and I'm looking forward to have discussions, even if it's difficult to do this in, in, an, online, uh, con in an online conference. And uh, okay, I will provide a workshop on advanced use of JSX graph. So if you are a beginner, uh, we, the workshop is, uh, will be a little bit too advanced for beginners. I want to um, advise you to, to look at the, at the, at the YouTube um, lecture and, and at our JSX graph book, which is, uh, which, uh, explains uh, the first step of using JSX graph. As you have cast already said, the conference Moodle is a JSX graph Unibaroid um, DE Moodle. And there we, uh, we set up uh, two forums. 
Uh, one is for the uh, discussion about talks. Please, uh, or if you, if possible, uh, if available, you can, uh, the speakers are invited to update, uh, to upload their material there. Discussions will be updated once a minute, so uh, not every 50 minutes, as in the, it's the default, or 30 minutes in Moodle. Uh, and please ask questions there or in the in the Zoom chat. And for the general discussion with questions, we uh, want to uh, invite you to use uh, the other forum, the network and small talk uh, Moodle. So what remains for me is to thank uh, Andreas Walter, our colleague for managing the, the Zoom meeting. And, and to all of us, I wish you a nice and successful conference. Thank you. Thank you very much, Alfred. Uh, we will see you uh, in some minutes uh, at the workshop. And uh, one last thing I want to mention, uh, uh, some weeks ago, we started a publication series and uh, perhaps uh, Andreas, you could show us the website. Uh, Chase X Graph, uh, we developed Chase X Graph here at the University of Bayreuth. And we have a center for mobile learning with digital uh, technology. This is our research group. And there we uh, started this publication series. Uh, and we have, we already have two issues. Uh, the first issue, Andreas, could you please go to the end of the page? Yes. Uh, the first issue is on sketchometry, our user interface for Chase X Graph. We will see some news tomorrow at the conference. And the second is a book of abstracts from the first conference. So we will have, of course, the third issue about uh, the book of abstracts of the uh, second and also the th third conference and this conference as well. And here we have the possibility if you want uh, to publish an article uh, related to Chase X Graph. Here we have uh, the possibility to publish online articles within, within these issues of the series. And uh, it is hosted here at the University of Bayreuth. We have an ISSN uh, also for this publication. Uh, so we can add uh, several issues uh, regularly, regularly or uh, not regularly, it depends on us, it depends on you. If you are interested in, uh, just write an email and we can manage to publish an article. So this is the last thing about the organization of the conference. And now we have two or three minutes left. So once more, uh, use uh, the possibility to get in contact with us, us and each other, uh, use uh, the Moodle system or the chat. And on 15.13, we will start with the next, or with the first talk from uh, Bernhard Geiler from the Ostbayerische Technische Hochschule Amberg Weiden. So I think in two minutes, we can start the talk.